Peggy 3. Hey, what's up, guys? It's True Boy, the FIFA Community Manager, and I'm here to tell you about three major areas that we've been focusing on to make your Front 16 experience fair, fun, and secure. First off, I am hyped to tell you that the transfer market is back on the web and mobile companion apps, and early access for returning users begins September 17th, so you'll be able to manage your club wherever you go. This next piece of news makes me very happy because as many of you know, I'm a big trader. It's going to be easier to buy and sell your players in FIFA 16. Price ranges will be significantly wider and will have much less impact on our trading. And the third major piece of news, we are doing big things to give the economy back to you, the players, with new security measures that will help prevent coin glitching on a mass scale. Let me give you more detail on these three major areas, starting with the transfer markets. With the transfer markets coming back, returning users will get web and mobile early access during a web start on September 17th. And to protect the apps from bots, new FUT16 accounts must play on console first before accessing the web and mobile markets. This will make sure you're a real player, and while it might take a few days to verify the new account, it'll keep bots out of the apps and give you a better fun experience. The next major area of improvement makes buying and selling easier. When the season starts, price ranges will be significantly wider, and the aim is to keep them as wide as possible throughout the year so they still protect the market from coin selling, yet maintain a healthier environment for us traders. The less coin farming and coin buying we see within FUT16, the wider the price ranges will stay. Last but not least, we're making the economy more secure. We're taking on coin glitching, which was a common way that cheaters generated fraudulent coins in FIFA 15. Although I can't go too deep, these new security features will help prevent coin generation by coin farmers on a mass scale. We're also splitting all FUD economies in FIFA 16. So the Xbox 360 and Xbox One markets will be separate, as will the PS3 and PS4 markets. This will make it more difficult for coin sellers to move fraudulent coins. However, you'll still be able to one-time transfer your FIFA points from FIFA 15 to FIFA 16 on the same console or across console generations. So, big changes guys. Those are the three major areas that we're focusing on to make your FUT16 experience fair, fun, and secure. FIFA 16 is almost here, WebStar is a couple days away, the hype is real. I've been seeing the most ridiculous fun draft squads on Twitter, so I know you guys are liking the demo. Feel free to tweet me or at eSportsFIFA to let us know what you think of the new game. See you out there on the pitch.